Okay. Seattle and Cairo 7 viewers say hello to Nate Burleson. Nate, you just finished talking to Minneapolis viewers, but I know this is your hometown where you grew up. This has to be a little more special, right? It definitely is. Seattle is my hometown. I have the Space Needle tattooed on my body, so that'll show you right there how much <laughs> I love the 206, as I like to call it. So this is special. Good morning, Michelle. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's great to see your face in this new gig you will have. We'll talk about that in a moment. But, you know, viewers here in Western Washington really know you from your time with the Hawks as a wide receiver going way back to O'Day High School. And Nate, you may not know, we have something in common. <laughs> I too went to Lindbergh High School in Renton, where I grew up. So I must ask you why you transferred from Lindbergh to O'Day. What? <laughs> well, um, so here, here's the story. We were living in <laughs> South Seattle and I moved to Renton. That was the school that I was zoned for. I loved Lindbergh. I ran track, played football and basketball. And then my mom said, you know what, I think you need to focus up a little bit more. Let's send you to a school with all boys, a little bit more of a strict regiment. And, mm -hmm. and that's how I landed in O'Day, myself and my brother. But my time at Lindbergh, I loved it <laughs> and still have some best friends till this day that oh. went to Lindbergh High School with me. I love that. I love that story. So what do you miss about Seattle, Nate, now that you're on the East Coast? Do you, do you come back often? I do. I, my mom and dad are still out there. My two brothers are still out there. I have a nephew and niece in Seattle. So Seattle will forever be home to me. There is nothing like it. Um, what I miss about Seattle is when it rains, people don't panic. <laughs> Oftentimes you might drive around in New Jersey or New York and it seems like the, the rain brings the worst out of people. But, you know, being in Seattle, we'll take a gentle rain uh, five days a week. It just seems like somebody is lightly tapping you on your shoulder. We'll get a windbreaker, some shorts and some Birkenstocks, and we'll be vibing. So, um, you know, I, I, I miss the people, though. And, and being a true West Coast kid from the Pacific Northwest, um, there's nothing like Seattle. But... I can't lie, New York has been good to me. Oh, yeah, it sure has. So let's talk about that. You've been busy, of course, on NFL Today here on CBS, Good Morning Football on the NFL Network. Now this new job as a host, a co-host of CBS This Morning. Congratulations. What are you looking forward to with this show? How about that? Just a kid from South Seattle, and, and now I'm sitting up here next to, to Gail and, and Tony D um, on CBS Mornings. What I'm looking forward to is, is bringing uh, my versatility. I think at first sight, people would assume I'm just an athlete, might come here and want to talk about sports more often. That's not the case. Oh, he's, he's an entertainer. He's transitioned into that space, so he's, he's going to bring that element. Sure, maybe. Uh, but there are layers to me that I don't believe people really know. Uh, Seattleites that know me um, as the young, precocious kid who fell in love with art and poetry and, and then got into um, investments. I think those from Seattle that know that part of Nate Burleson won't be surprised when I tap into this, those spaces on this show. Uh, but I, that's what I want to bring. I want to add to what this show is, the rich tradition of this show. There have been so many men and women before me that have come and set the bar and I'm going to try to meet that standard and occasionally raise the bar where I can. So um, it's going to be fun. We have a new look, a new feel. We are sitting in the heart of New York City. I'm talking about Times Square. The poetic chaos of Times Square is right outside these walls. So um, we're going to wake up and give you everything that you know CBS News to be. Um, a great journalistic approach, giving people exactly what they need in the morning as they get ready to start their day. So they are invigorated, uplifted, informed and entertained. And then they're going to wake up with us the next day and do it all again. And real quickly, Nate, before you have to go, are you going to call in any favors to Seattle friends like Macklemore for maybe a sit down interview? I saw that on your Instagram. <laughs> See, you, you've been paying attention, of yeah. course. You know, back in the day when I was rapping under an alias, I did a song with Macklemore. So me and Macklemore are close friends. He came on Good Morning Football a few months ago. So I'm going to call in a couple of big favors to a couple of big dogs because that's what this business mm -hmm. is, right? So the Nate Burleson sit down with Macklemore about life, music, and, of course, the Pacific Northwest is coming soon on CBS Mornings. All right, Nate, congratulations to you. Thanks for spending some time with us today. Good luck to you. We'll see you on the air right here on Cairo 7. Thank you for having me, Michelle.